Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna play this. Which I don't mind. Okay, so I think we were like halfway done with this, right? Or halfway done with the this star. So we're about almost done getting to our fourth star. Let's see. Um, patch notes for okay. That's not okay. So okay, perfect day. Got two hundred fifty dollar bonus. Um, let's see. Houses, I bet you can't make more than a hundred dollars in tips. Um, that's actually a bet that I wouldn't take because we, I don't think we have, I don't think we have made $250 in tips before. I mean, a hundred, a hundred dollars in tips before. So, um, that would, I, that's not a bet that I want to take. It's our daily buzz. We need to change our menu. Um, which means, you know what that means. Gonna add in the fish. I haven't done this since last week, so I might be a little bit rusty, but we'll see what happens. Um, equipment. Is there anything else that we need to buy? Um, nope. Next page. Uh, let's, let's get this one, because it's only $50. Okay, I think we're okay. Let's just get that. I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm gonna be a little bit slow trying to get this in. Um, but that's okay. Let's see. Let's... Tips, would, tips would be nice. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little slow on the pickup for this. Especially going from keyboard to not. Going going back to keyboard. Actually, I could have made a hundred dollars. Yeah, the soups would need a little bit of like, oh my gosh. The soups, if I had forgotten the soups, it would be really difficult for me to get back. Actually, I think I could have made a hundred dollars in tips. I, I, it's been a while since, um, since I've like looked at how many tips I usually get. So maybe. Not too bad of a rush hour. There you go. Should 
keep one. There I go. Get your chicken noodle soup. Okay, ranch and greens. Gotcha. I gotcha, fam. Order up. Mushroom and greens. Actually, I should have taken the bet. I, I haven't been keeping track of how much I've been getting. So, every time that happens, um, yeah, it's really, yeah. I mean, it was on the safe side not to take the bet, but at the same time, I'm like, mm, should I have taken the bet? I think I should have taken the bet. I mean, now in hindsight, after seeing how much tips I've been getting, it would have been worth it, I think. Oh, man. satisfying. The grilling noise is actually pretty satisfying as well. Yeah, I think I, I think I would have made... Maybe? Maybe. Bad. 72 orders? First time back too, and they're perfect. Perfect day. Perfect day cheap. No, no, no. That's actually good. I only made $78 in tips, so it's probably better for the best. Jane wants another date. Ooh, okay, soup. Perfect day, $250 bonus. And then there's another, uh, let's see, extra events. Iron Cook Studio. Italian challenge. I need to do pasta, wine, lasagna. Oh, you crazy. Jeez. Dude, that's, oh my god. I don't think I'd be able to do it. Active menu. Yeah, change this up. I kind of want to put the steak on there. I mean, it's going to be pretty rough, but I think the amount of tips I could get... I mean, I could take a... Uh, I don't know if that would be enough, though, unfortunately. $78 in tips. That wasn't a lot. Actually, it's a good it's a good thing we start out with the chores first, get them out of the way. Man, it's so cold. The wine kind of throws you off when you have way too many people ordering wine at the same time. 
Yeah. Where's all your guys' tips? Come on, man. The girl's gonna live on some tips, you know? There you go. There's a twelve dollar tip right there. Oh jeez! Oh my god, that's scary. Oh I don't know. Normalize. Oh wait, that's normalize, round ears, uh fancy nose. I'm gonna Beard, beard, a small lips, and then a beard. Wait, caught somebody. Jeez, this is kind of Jesus out of me. Cause that was really loud. I caught him at least. And during rush hour too. You crazy? Oh shoot! Oh my god, I fat fingered that.
dollars in tips okay I got the robbery achievement which you guys can't see which means I identified one person so not too bad criminal criminal activity okay so we got that cool 20 bucks steak upgrade oh my person didn't send me back oh man I hope I did that right I mean, what happens if I upgrade the salad? Should be okay. I just have to figure out what it, what what the, what the um, new sauce is. V. Okay. That's not too bad. V is right next to C, so. Ranch cheese bacon on it. Okay. Okay. Ranch cheese bacon and onions. I do that all the time. Ranch cheese mushrooms. She's bacon. Come on, make something harder. As long as she's bacon. I can do this with one hand. Come on. Ranch is bacon. Is that all you got? Wait, is there a way I can change this control? Salad, cheese, peppers, island. Oh, it's easy. Just it's just V. This is a different dressing. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right? Salad is now. Gives plus seven. Daily buzz. So you got flex aroma, that's fine. No big deal. Let's go. Let's go! in the morning. I like how the fish got upgraded like immediately. I think we only had it for like a little bit but it's so easy. See even with the vinaigrette it's not that much harder. It's just you already know what's on it. Because it's only only a different sauce, so it doesn't really matter. Which I mean is good, right? So I've been watching um, the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, and it's so good. Like, if you guys if you guys watched Riverdale. I would suggest 
you watch you watch um, this one too. It's it's really good. It's it's oh my god, hold on. Uh, it's made from the creators of um Riverdale anyway, so it's like there's a lot of connections in there. So if you did like Riverdale, you'll definitely like this show too. recommendation that I would make to anybody who is who needs a Netflix show to watch. Highly recommended. Yeah, if you've never watched, um, you don't need to have watched Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the sitcom version. You don't need to have watched that to, in order to, to watch this one. It's like, it's kind of, um, it's kind of like how they did Riverdale and like Archie Comics and stuff like that. So it's like, it's just, it's very loosely based on the same characters, but it's like the darker version of it. So there's like, it's not quite as lighthearted. There's a lot of like darker themes and everything, which I mean are good, which is, which is good if you like that kind of thing. Like if you liked Riverdale, trust me, you'll like it. I mean, that's not an ad. I, I do I genuinely like that show. I mean, I like Riverdale a lot, too. Just because it's like, it's it's fun. And kind of ridiculous. I just, I just kind of find it interesting how like, there's like, there's no like, permanent rivalry. Like, even amongst like, Betty and all those people, like, Eventually, like, they all have to, like, work together at some point, you know, of the show. Which is kind of interesting. That's a kind of an interesting take. Like, nobody is really, like, completely mad at each other all the time. You know what I mean? Especially, like, in Riverdale, that's what happens. So that's why it's, it's like, an interesting dynamic. There's no, like, I'm always, I'm always mad at you and I, we're always going to be enemies. It's like, sometimes it's like, despite that, they still tend to work together on some stuff. Like, some issues that, you know... Which is a different take, because usually it's like, oh, you're always enemies, you can never work together, and that's it. Like, it's only desperate measures. But, like, for, for, for the sake of the show, it's like, it's always... Like, they're always able to work together. What?! What was that?! I must have fat-fingered something. Yeah, definitely, definitely recommend that show. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I do like, I do like that show a lot. I mean, I've been watching, we, me and my brother have been binging it this weekend, and we're, we've gone pretty far. I think we're more than halfway through this, the, the first season. It's good. I mean, I think everything is really good, but like, I feel like Netflix usually doesn't have bad shows. Unless they're really bad. Like, I don't think they... They really have... Like, their own produced bad shows, you know what I mean? They all seem to be okay. I've yet to run into a really bad Netflix show. Like in a, a Netflix original bad show, you know what I mean? All the ones that I've seen so far have been okay, you know? Like, they're, they're, 
pretty decent quality and everything like that, so I don't know. Sure. Safety inspection. Steaks and chicken breast all in the same spot. Okay, I'll take that bet. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, let's do daily specials chicken breast and then let's switch up mm, the soup. Or. I kind of don't want the wine there. Okay, I think we can do this. Yeah, I think we can do this. I think we got this. Yeah, I think we got this. is a lot harder now. Yeesh. Rush hour is coming soon. You know, I've been I've been I've been playing too much Pokemon Go. Like it's it's kind of like a no regret, but at the same time, like. It's, a, it's fun though. Like, not even gonna lie. It's like fun to get. Oh shoot. Oh no. Oh my god, I messed up. No. It's like fun to like go around and hang out and just like have a purpose for going outside, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm the kind of person who doesn't like to just like just sit outside. Like I need to have a purpose. Oh, I got it. I messed up already. Like if I'm outside, I need to be doing something. I don't like being out and just like hanging around. I'm like, I don't know. Like, I'm not one to go to the park and just, like, hang out at the park. Like, I either need to be, like... I either need to be, like, meeting somebody, or I need to be, like... I don't know. I don't know, I, I don't think I could just sit on a bench and just... I, I feel... I would feel really anxious. Like, I don't know if I can just sit on a bench and just, like, people watch. It, it would make me super, super anxious. Like, I need to do something. I think that's why I like this game so much. Because there's always something to do in this game.
Rent, mushrooms, and greens. Got our combo, so we're good. This music sucks. Hold on, let me, let me. It's too quiet. There we go. Yeah, I've went on like going back to my Pokemon Go thing. I've been I, I actually went on on another raid today just by myself, like a level one raid. You know, you need some uh, Shinx anyway, right? So I went. So there's this one gym um, that's kind of like near my work, and so it popped like. Let me see. Cause I like I'm in I'm in like a Discord, right? That's near um that's in the area kinda where I work, right? So it's been helpful trying to like cause they ping They ping you whenever there's like a raid nearby and I'm just like, oh you know what, this would be good. You know, if I'm if I'm nearby, I'll just try it. That's how kind of serious it is still. get for like for talking about Pokemon Go even though I shouldn't even though I'm, I'm playing a different completely different game but yeah that discord that I'm like a part of they're super active at least in like near where I work so it's like it's been it's been kind of great I think that by itself has gotten me wanting to play it a lot more just because you know, a lot more people are playing it, it's a lot- it makes it a lot easier, like, I get updates and, like, tips and tricks. So, it makes remembering, like, events and stuff a lot better. You get a lot of tips and tricks about the air the area that you're around. So it's been nice. It's good to know that a lot of people still play it. So, you're not completely, like, weird for, like, doing it. I don't know. Some bad buzz on that one. Shoot. We gotta do the. Okay, I got that. Special pass. Super upgrade. Reviews are in. Got 10% buzz. But we're definitely gonna have to change that. Let's do the fish again. Take that away. Put this back. What else do we put on? Soup? We gotta put the soup back anyway. Start a new day. Ha 
two chocolates with sprinkles. Go. Mushrooms. I put way too many sugars on that. Seventy nine percent buzz is like nothing. Not after we've hit like a hundred and something, like a hundred and ten percent buzz. There we go, BBs. Oh, I hope I hope that that person doesn't call me during rush hour. You crazy? Chicken noodle on that, which is bad. Yep. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Number seven. Seven! See you. 
Successful. Okay, so now we have our two. Okay. Oops. Hold on. So we have to do the iron iron cook studio. What's the fried one at least? Let me see what the fried one is. Fries. Oh, just fries. sound is so loud. I don't, I've never done fried chicken before. How do they do this to me? Like the thing about this is that like it's kind of impossible. that like it's all depending on like how fast it it does this like how fast it fries Which is pretty slow. Who put sugar on their sweet potato fries? What the heck? Okay, this one, however, might be a little, this one might prove to be a little bit difficult, but we're gonna try it anyway. So it's pasta, wine, and lasagna, and everything is upgraded, so we'll see what happens. I have no idea what's gonna happen to me. Oof. I mean, it can't be that difficult, right? Oh my gosh. 
this. Chicken, bacon, cheese, meat, chicken, bacon, pepper, mushroom, spinach, onions. Three, four. Chicken, bacon, pepper, onions, spinach, onions. Bacon spices? I don't know. What the freak? Bacon peppers. Uh, white meat, chicken, mushrooms. Seven. Red sauce, meatball, chicken, bacon, pepper, mushroom, spinach, onion. Uh, uh red sauce, bacon, pepper. Okay. Oof. Oh man, we have two already? Oh shoot. Oh my god, forget it. I can't do this. Now when it's upgraded, like, I don't even have most of my stuff upgraded. Like, how are you gonna do that to me? What? Oh my god. Oh, wait. Wait. I just want to get, like, all the money. Yep, I know. Dang, man. don't tip for coffee, which I get. They're just coming in here for coffee. I get it. Man, it's super slow in the morning. Like, I, want, I wonder what, how you can get your buzz to be higher. Just like by conventional methods, I mean. There must be an optimal way to do it. Oh, oh, oh! 
feel like I did that one wrong. Our wine now. I kind of want to upgrade the soup just for fun to see what see what other kind of weird stuff that they added. cheapest upgrade that you can honestly you can get as well as the wine we're gonna upgrade the wine james message for you okay, well. 40 perfect okay let's do it um i'm not gonna upgrade them yet oh, you're in luck man look at that let's do it Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Here comes the people. 
I hope. Even when it's raining, nobody comes in here. What the heck? BBs. people get in here we got some fish is good for you fish is good for you do we have eight already the combo not go up Shower. Why are people getting so much wine? Don't get wine. Concentrate. What? 
That's BS, that's BS. I thought I did that one perfect. That, that's BS right there. What the heck did I do? Man, we were off to such a great start. We had, we had like 33, man, what the heck? Did I accidentally put lemon on that when I wasn't supposed to? I call BS, I, I say that one was perfect. I call BS on that. One one hundred percent. Although you guys could probably play it back and see exactly where I messed up, but I'm not gonna admit it. I say that was perfect in my book. Didn't even occur to me when I put in the order that it was bad. So I don't understand where it went wrong. Ugh. See, if only if I was this productive, normally, like, cooking and stuff, that'd be great. But the meal prepping has gone- has been going well, by the way, at my house, if you guys were ever wondering, but I don't think you were. Just to let you guys know. Meal prepping has actually been really helpful. I don't, it's not, when I say meal prepping as well, I don't mean like, oh, being like healthy meal prepping. It's more like just preparing meals ahead of time so I don't have to worry about it during the week, you know what I mean? Like for like lunch and all that stuff. meal prep just so I don't have to worry about like what I eat for lunch during the week so I've been doing been doing a lot of that and it's been actually very nice so I don't have to like at the end of the day I have to worry about like oh I have to make sure I gotta you know gotta make something you know but now it's like okay you know what it's all good everything is prepped ready to go I just when I wake up in the morning Throw in whatever I, like, whatever I prepped already, right? It's pretty good. It's also helping me save some money during the week. So I already know I already have five meals basically pre-prepped for, for this entire week. It's work week, and that's it. And I have breakfast done as well, so I also don't have to worry about that. Which is good. Because I usually, if I don't pack it... I don't bring I don't bring any sort of like breakfast and so like I end up like eating a lot of snacks or I just like just, like not do anything you know and it sucks when you're at work and there's no breakfast you know I just I feel like dying <laughs> so it's been good you know I just pack like a half a you know like a, like a half sandwich like ham sandwich so I at least have something so my stomach is not like growling at me you know so it's been it's been okay. It's been a lot of more productive use of my time, at least on Sunday nights, being able to prep and stuff. Like, just, we spend like maybe one to two hours cooking and then just putting it all out. Making, and cooling it down before, cooling it down before I put it in the fridge and all that stuff, so it's all good. What? I call BS! Am I accidentally not putting an ingredient in there or something? Or am I putting a lemon where there's not supposed to be a lemon? 
I feel like that might be the case. Four, six. Maybe it's so ingrained in my brain that I always see it. the 40 combo out of the way, so it's not a big deal to mess up right now. It's not a big deal. My restaurant is nice and tidy, nice and clean, you know? Okay, well, I think that's it. I think I'm done for today. I'm kind of tired. I need to. I need to get sleep. Get some.